Here's how to stretch your lower back with eight simple exercises to relieve back pain naturally. Hi guys and welcome back to Kay's Perfect Fitness TV. Today I'm going to be showing you some simple stretches so you can release lower back pain. Now this is sort of going to be treating the symptoms rather than the cause. You always have to think about why does your lower back hurt? Many times people's lower back hurt from poor posture, from sinking into their lower back, from not engaging through the abs on a daily basis, from sitting too much, vice versa. So you might have tight hip flexors, you might have weak abs, you might just be sitting too much. So you might want to think about what the cause is. Now, a lot of times I find that when people strengthen through their core and their midsection, their lower back pain disappears. So make sure that you do take up some ab exercises, and I'll post some here that will be really good for you, um, to, so you strengthen through your core. But when the lower back is tight, it is good to stretch it out. So this will help to alleviate the lower back pain by stretching through it, but altogether you do want to also be doing strengthening exercises that will also help to get rid of lower back pain long term. So these stretches will help to alleviate the pain, but I do want you to think about why your lower back does hurt. So um, here are some simple stretches that you can do at home to release your lower back. So we're going to start from in a four point kneeling position. We're going to do cat to cat. So your hands are going to be underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. We're simply tucking the tailbone under and chin to chest, rounding through the spine to make a C curve through the spine. You scoop the belly in and up, draw the shoulder blades apart, and then inhale to release, look forward, lengthening through the abs, drawing the shoulders down and back, but try not to sink into the lower back. So I could sink, I'm still gonna keep this area still engaged. And again, exhale, round through the spine, and inhale to release and look forward, drawing the shoulders down and back, exhale. Shh. Inhale, release, look forward. Keep pressing through your palms and your pinky fingers. And round the spine, big exhale. Inhale, look forward. Let's just do one more. Inhale, look forward. Bring it back to neutral. And we're going to sit our hips back to our heels and into a shell stretch. From here, we're tucking the tailbone under, we're dropping the tailbone to the floor, still scooping the abs in and up, trying to draw your shoulders down and back. Just releasing. Now, if you have a friend nearby, someone who could put a little pressure on your lower back, they could take their hands and place them on the hips right here and gently press down for you to help release the lower back a little bit. And then I want you to slowly roll yourself up. And now we're gonna take it into our hip flexor stretch. So you're going to come up to kneeling, step the right foot forward and tuck the tailbone under. Lift the chest and just breathe into this hip flexor stretch right here. These hip flexors can get so tight from sitting for so long. When this gets tight, our lower back can get tight. So we're having a nice stretch here to release that. Hold it here for as long as you want to, as long as it feels good. Just make sure you're in a fleshy bit of the knee as well so it's not putting pressure on your knee. And then I just want you to press your hips back and take it into a hamstring stretch. Here is your fourth stretch here, your hamstring stretch. Now notice that I just push my hips back and lengthen this front leg. I'm sending my hips back and then if you want more, you bring your hands down towards the floor. And what I'm gonna do is press my chest towards my my leg and towards the mat to lengthen through the spine. So I feel that lovely long release with the back of the leg. <sighs> Breathing into it here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this leg out to the side and I'm going to sit back into my shell stretch, reach forward, and then I'm going to walk my hands over to my toes. So you get a really nice inner thigh stretch and a nice stretch through the side of the body here. So if you have any tightness in the sides of the lower back, that will really help to release. Give you a little side stretch. So 
breathing into it here. And then walk your hands back to center, bring that knee back in, and then we come back up and we change legs. So this time I'm stepping my other leg forward for my hip flexor stretch, tucking the tailbone under. And just breathe into it here. Keep it quite an active stretch. So you feel like you keep tucking the tailbone down. You feel that hip release. You're not sinking into the lower back at all. You could just arch and that's not doing anything. Keep tucking so there's no pain in the lower back. Those abs are engaged and it's all supported. Well done, you guys. Now you're gonna push your hips back again to lengthen that front leg and take it into your hamstring stretch. Now, if this is enough for you, you stay here, or if you wanna go a little deeper, try to reach your hands down to the floor. Keep sending your hips back and then pull that hip back so we square the hips off. Keep pressing your chest towards the mat, feeling that length through the back of the leg down the hamstring. Breathing into it here. Just release, just release. And then we're going to sweep that leg out to the side, sit back onto your heel, and bring it to your inner thigh stretch here. And then we walk our hands around to our toes to get a nice stretch to the side of the body and through the lower back here. Breathing into this. Walking it back to center. And just bringing it back to your shell stretch one last time. And now we're gonna simply roll ourselves up. And we're gonna lie down on our back. So from here, you lie down and you hug your knees into your chest. And what we're gonna do is just give our knees a little rock, side to side, forward and back, whatever feels good, hugging them in, maybe circling the knees around. And then we're just going to keep the knees glued together and we're gonna drop them to one side. When you drop them to one side, keep those hands on the floor out to the sides and keep your shoulders down and look the opposite direction to your knees. Breathing in here. If you want more, you take that top knee higher and you gently press it down to the floor So giving that lower back a nice little release and rotation. And then bring it back to center. Take those knees up and over to the other side. Keep your shoulders pressing down to the floor and lift that top knee and press it down a little bit more if you want a little bit of a greater release. Lots of deep breathing. Slow your breath down, just relax. Just, this should just feel like a nice unwind and release through the spine and lower back. And if you bring it back to neutral, we're just going to cross one foot over your opposite knee and then hug behind the back of the thigh. Now this is going to release the glutes and piriformis. Glutes can get extremely tight as well, especially from a lot of sitting. So this will help to release. If you want a little bit more, you can press that knee out. Just to release through the glutes here. Keep hugging that other thigh in. And change legs. Hug behind the back of that thigh, draw it in. Ooh, that feels really tight on this side. So some legs can, um, one side might feel a little tighter than the other, and that's Perfectly natural, that is why you're doing this. 
Just make sure you take a nice deep breath and always continue both stretches on both sides. Even if one side feels tighter than the other, you might just want to hold it a little bit longer until it starts to release. It will eventually release. And you can press that knee out to the side a little bit. And release. Now just to go a little bit deeper into those glutes, we're just going to swing ourselves around and we're going to take ourselves into a pigeon pose. So from four point kneeling, you just slide one leg forward, getting a little bit deeper into your glutes here. And then you can rest down onto your forearms and release your head down towards the floor. You can even walk your hands out a little bit further if that feels comfortable for you. Now you might not be here today, you might be up here on your hands, trying to release forward, then working your way down to your forearms, and then extending those arms out. Just letting your tailbone drop to the floor, opening up through the hip. I just love this pigeon stretch, it feels so good. It's just a nice one to finish on as well. Bring that knee back and slide the other one forward. And then release down to your forearms. You can walk your hands out if you want more. Rest your head down towards your mat if that feels good. Ideally, you want your foot in line with your knee here. That's really quite difficult. Mine is not. My knee is quite bent, you guys. So do what you can. Always strive to increase the stretch a little bit more as you get more comfortable with these stretches. But don't worry if you're not there yet. It takes a lot of practice. So lots of deep breathing. Just release into your stretches here. And when you're ready, slowly press yourself up and swing yourself around. So those are your eight stretches to help release through your lower back. Just to finish off, if you just want to just get a little bit of movement through the spine, you might just want to take the soles of your feet together, hold on to your ankles, and then drop your chest forward round through the spine. Pull away from your ankles and lift up at the top. So you press your chest forward. When you can't go any further, you round through the spine and pull away from those ankles. Feel a nice stretch the whole spine as you see curve through the spine and sit up tall on your sit bones at the top. Let's just do two more for fun. This is just a little bonus here at the end, just to get your spine moving a little bit more fluidly, finding that articulation through the spine. Sitting up tall at the top to reverse it round through the spine. Slowly press your chest forward and lengthen up tall at the top. Round through the spine, tuck the tailbone under. Press your chest forward and lengthen up at the top. Let's just do two more. And last one. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you find these stretches really beneficial for your lower back. Make sure that you are also strengthening through your core to make sure that you can alleviate this lower back pain long term. I hope this releases any tightness that you are feeling. And um, leave a comment in the box below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I have new workouts out every single Monday. And if you're not following me on social, make sure you find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Until next Monday, I hope you have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.